All right, all right, all right. As everybody, including your great great grandmother's turtle, knows, Victor Wembanyama went number one overall to the Spurs a few days ago. But you might be wondering why, as you look at your screen, why is this man a seven foot four small forward? Well, there's a reason. You're probably not wondering. You clicked on the video. Tim Duncan and David Robinson, rookies in 1987 and actually 1997 NBA drafts. There was this photo a few days ago of Victor hanging out with all of the Spurs legends, including these two, and he's also towering over them in the photos. And Tim Duncan's got his dreads growing out and everything. I wish I could add them to this player, but it's not really possible. I thought it'd be interesting if I turned the twin towers into the triple towers or whatever you want to call this. Also, I know I could add like all of the Spurs, like Manu, Tony, but come on now, they need some adversity. I thought it'd be fun if it was just the three big men fending for themselves. And as I click simulate on the season, this guy right here had mentioned me in his tweet and said, hey, um, I'm tired of seeing Laurie Marketing averaging 10 points. Please download my 2K share scenario. So I did. I downloaded it. It even was called four clicks. So that's to say I'm judging you. We'll see if this is good or not. And also why are the Spurs not good? I feel like you should be good even though you're all young you should be all right you're number one all-star teams don't see a soul from the spurs in there might be a back-to-back -back lottery team it's looking like ronnie james is trying to join the team buddy there was actually a uh, mock draft that had Bronny going 17th to the hawks next year i'm not even sure how they predict everything already but lebron had posted on social media and said um guess we're heading to atl so i think you know where he stands right now where Bronny goes he goes also that man is definitely not retiring remember all the reports about him wanting to retire he was definitely just in his feelings because he got eliminated Jason Tatum wins most viable player. David Robinson wins rookie of the year out of our uh, three. Averaging 17, 10, 4, 1, and 2. Chris Paul, sixth man of the year. Giannis DPOY. Paul Reed most improved on the Bulls. They actually just re-signed Vucevic today to a three-year 60 million deal. Not a terrible deal, but they also, I mean, they, they need to rebuild one of these years. And speaking of Darius Garland was a broken leg. Uh, they, they were announcing today that he might get traded. I don't know what's going on in the NBA right now. But there's also a good chance he doesn't. You know how basketball is. Oh, I forgot I was controlling every team. Yeah, sorry, buddy. It's just Spurs Nation. And well, the Spurs, Spurs Nation is not here. 33 wins does not land them in the playing game. It is going to be a championship between the Warriors and the Cavaliers. Darius Garland and the Evan Mobley win it. Dwight Howard of the Suns retired. Honestly, this is is possible Todd Gibson's out of here I man Todd Gibson was like a 25 year old senior in college I drafted like six years after LeBron and is the same age I actually saw something today that said that Cam Johnson is only two years younger than Andre Drummond the draft lottery how are the Spurs doing oh well that pick's supposed to go back to Charlotte but they do have the sixth overall and it is gonna be wow their own pick goes third overall pretty solid I'll give this one back to the Hornets I'm not evil and also I just noticed they have Rudy Gobert logically looking at this did they trade Terry Rozier for Rudy Gobert yep that's exactly what happened and cody martin I remember there was actually a lot of rumors that they were gonna get him in the first place last year when the you know when the timberwolves i mean when the jazz were trading him I'm fixing this thunder pick as well it should be the should be for the wizards shout out to jordan Poole did a great job tanking they should still have this pick look at pop this man's probably in heaven right now coaching three three seven foot bastards and duncan's like 6 11 but we draft in the nba draft bulls number one get ian jackson number two is isaiah collier number three justin edwards okay i'm not mad at it shout out to mataz good shooting guard for the team we also got mac and bakwe and they're getting rid of city sissoko already they just drafted him last year i actually did forget to do one thing and i think they're uh, both about to be free agents because of it i'm stupid only big time free agent changes i see here are, uh, oh actually siakam to the pacers murray to the 76ers and sabonis to the rockets i've seen a lot of free agents mocked up to the rockets because they have a lot of money i've seen that they might offer um red van vliet 40 million also don't mind duncan and robinson's contracts right now also yes i can never say duncan and robinson without sounding like i'm saying duncan robinson i have to lower them back down to you know rookie deals because they were in free agency so yeah i sold that they'll have next year's free agency to have a ton of money for no reason also for this video i do not want these players to ever leave i want them to be spares for life so i'm actually just gonna sign them to like a contract extension right now a fake contract extension so so will you say or whatever i don't know what i'm saying these are number two they got a you know all about almost 90 overall david robinson makes the all-star team is he the best one it may be 24 and 29 still i mean they're they're actually in the playoff race right now we'll play in technically and what the hell spurs trade keldon johnson and marcus smart after getting marcus smart for malachi bronham and Devonte graham okay i didn't even know that was possible that they could trade that fast but okay they're just defying rules keldon johnson and marcus smart for De'Aaron fox and a lottery protected first it's crazy is the rule where you can't trade players again for like a minimum amount of days is on does it just not apply for the cpu hey that, that's fine by me i don't really care but De'Aaron fox is now on the spurs and this will probably go down because he's with a lot of really good players now but he's 
that was the one position we needed too. David's averaging 18, 11, and 5. Tim Duncan's averaging 17, 11, and 4 with two blocks. They're actually all averaging two blocks, all three of these big men. And Victor, 16, 7, and 3. That's the little bro of the group, even though he's they're all the same age right now. Luca wins MVP in year number two. DJ Wagner, rookie of the year. Ben Simmons, six man. Evan Mobley, DPOI. Malachi Bronham with the... Oh yeah, right. He got traded to the uh, the, the Grizzlies. He won most improved. I don't know how... If that's... Is it just Branham? I, I don't... I remember, I think I went over this once. I don't really care. Quinn Snyder, coach of the year. David Robinson makes all NBA second team already. I guess that kind of makes sense. And Tim Duncan makes the third team. No Victor just yet. It's kind of weird to see Victor being overshined. Kind of interesting too, though. The Spurs are the eighth seed in the play-in game against OKC, and they're going to confirm their way into the... Uh, the actually, the seventh seed against the Kings, who are led by Keldon Johnson, Jalen Duren, Kevin Herter, and Davion Mitchell. How the hell are they the second seed still? How did they retain this position? And why did they make the trade? Um, I mean, they do have Keegan Murray and Marcus Smart off the bench, right? Marcus Smart and Davion Mitchell as the uh, two backcourt defenders is pretty crazy. But aside from that, like, I don't see... Okay, yeah, they're a team. Game, oh, up 3-1, and we 4-1 to Mattier. Now, the Rockets might be a bit of a threat. Demontis Sabonis, Kevin Porter Jr., Jalen Green, Jabari Smith. Who did they draft? They drafted the Thompson twin. I don't know uh, don't know where he's at, but they are up 3-0 and 3-1. Is our team still healthy? They are. They're looking pretty great, but not on paper, though. 4-1. We are out of here. Barely made the playoffs, make it to the second round. I'll, I'll take it as a, as, as a success, even though the team actually could already be a championship contender with how many you know, good players they have. Scotty Barnes, Demontis Sabonis, the conference MVPs, and uh, Scotty Barnes, finals MVP. Grizzly legend Russell Westbrook retires, and Memphis legend Derrick Rose retired. I don't even know if he did good in college. I mean, I'm assuming he did since he was the number one overall pick, but I don't know, like, individually. Like, I know, I think Markel Fultz's team missed the, uh, they didn't even get added to the tournament, I'm pretty sure. Anthony Edwards' team, I'm pretty sure, was pretty trash as well. And those top two picks, I believe, are sadly accurate and not a lottery protections. Pelicans actually take the pick from a, one of my uh, friends who's a Bucks fan. And he uh, actually messaged me and uh, said he, he's mad that they're always so trash in this game. And I said, yeah, well, they always are. I don't know why, but they are. And the Jazz from the Rudy Gobert trade get the number two overall pick. And the Thunder get number six from the Paul George trade. Whereas the Spurs draft Jason Azamoda, Asad Noel, Carter Knox, a lot of lottery picks. How did they get this many? I did not notice that. Oh, they got one from Memphis from that trade for uh, Marcus Smart or whatever, I think. I'm assuming. I don't know how else they would have got that. One from Chicago, maybe from the DeRozan trade. And then one that's their own. Dang, the Timberwolves signed uh julius randall Kawhi leonard very intriguing pairing donovan mitchell goes to the magic jason tatum to the lakers and lebron to the celtics i was just trying to see if the spurs sign anybody and i don't see anybody they did use most of the cap space probably on trading for deer and fox victor's an 89 tim duncan's a 92 and david robinson's a 93 obviously victor is a little bit out of position but he's still about the same overall that he usually is like in uh in his rookie season he was i think he brought it down by one also justin edwards is an 80 i said this year should be a title contention type of year unless they really just uh, you you know the three bigs thing isn't working out which i'll never let them change see the team is 39 and 15 right now david robinson is an all-star and so is tim duncan and david robinson is number one in the mvp race right now and second in dpoy after chet oh man killian hayes got traded for jeremy grant he got traded back to the pistons both of them did and draymond green traded for clay thompson here's the stats if you care about looking too deeply into them also Jovich had a spinal injury out for the season like last game or something they didn't even know he was here but well, you know, we could have used them, I guess. David Robinson wins most valuable player in year number three, averaging 20, 11, 5, 1, and 2 on 59% from the field, 72% from the free throw line, and most importantly, no three shot. He's into the old era still and still cooking. Greg Popovich, coach of the year. David Robinson, obviously, first team, and Tim Duncan, third team. Tim, Victor, and David all made the defensive second team. And the Spurs are the number one seed in the league. Dang, we're down 3 1 to, to OKC. I was about to say losing the battle of the division, but I actually think OKC. KC's in the Northwest division because they used to be in Seattle. I don't know. Why am I thinking these nerd things right now? Oh my God. We just came back down 3-1. One by two in game seven as well. Just an all around effort. Even Jer I forgot about Jeremy Sohan, jo Sohan right? Also, it's funny because we stole Jalen Williams. We stole the twin Jalen Williams and they don't even have the... Oh, yes, they do. He's right here. He dropped 24 in this game. And Jovic came back from his spinal. Broke my back spinal. Uh, we also have Dante DiVincenzo in second round against the Kings. Smoked them again. Third round against the Rockets. 
Patriots smoke them again into the finals. David Robinson finals MVP, Western finals MVP, and Desmond Bain Eastern finals MVP. It's the Raptors versus the Spurs. D'Angelo Russell, Desmond Bain, Patrick Williams, and Yaka Pertl. Also, very oddly, where the hell is Scotty Barnes? Where is Scotty? Was he not just the Western Conference MVP last season? All players, small forwards. No, all players, small forwards. Thank you. He's on the Clippers. They got rid of him after being the conference MVP. It doesn't matter. They're in the finals again. Shoot, they got Grady starting. He might be doing the same thing. I don't know. It's a three-point game with 19 seconds to go. Will they do anything interesting? Oh, they scored and game is over. One by one point. Victor at 27 and 10 on 10 for 10 shooting. Jim Duncan shot double as many shots and didn't make nearly as many as... Okay, he, he missed one more. He, he Whatever. Not missed one more. I'm stupid. Spurs win the second one. De'Aaron Fox leads the team in scoring. They also got Jakob Pertl leading the Raptors in scoring that game. Former Spur back to the Raptors, which happened in real life they take a game not gonna be a clean sweep 20 point win by the raptors desmond bain at 20 all around scoring effort game three spurs win by 28 De'Aaron fox 20 david robinson 22 15 five and two blocks victor at three blocks tim duncan at two blocks they both had great stat lines imagine victor becomes a point forward and that is it spurs champions david robinson number 50 average 16 points 11 rebounds six assists two steals a block and 56 percent field goal lebron of the celtics retired deandre memory retired just a couple of brown jersey retirements they're doing from lottery or barely lottery barely out of the lottery the champions in like a year the spurs team is looking about the same the david robinson is a 96 tim duncan a 94 victory 93 you know what's crazy too is that david robinson actually I'm not gonna lie i just found this out recently i'm an honest man i'm an honest man that he had did not play i mean i knew he had the nickname the admiral and everything but i didn't realize how long it was that he was in what is it the army the military i don't know what the hell it's, i don't know what the hell it is. Or is it the navy oh yeah it says the navy right there that's why i was like wait hold on i feel like it's usually right there and there it is but he was in there for three years he got picked number one overall in 87 i believe he didn't play until 89 or 90 also going into your number four let's see uh, david's got a bunch of defensive badges volume shooter hall of fame and uh four defensive badges hall of fame Tim duncan's got drop stepper and post lockdown box out beast victor's got nothing david robinson all-star starter ronnie james is here victor is here and tim duncan is here three all-stars look at that look at us oh my god david robinson victor and De'Aaron fox all three are the first three in the mvp voting and david and victor are both in dpoi race victor is number one in scoring 24 points per game this is a big upgrade from last year i want to say he averaged what 15 oh no he averaged 19 i'm tweaking 24 10 and 4 from him with two blocks and a steal david robinson 21 all right, all right look you see the stats there's too many players to go over i'm not doing this that, uh, oh, that's drew holiday look at him hold up the team for a few games and 42 and 12 is the best record by four games victor wins mvp and chet holmgren dpoy uh, i only cared about dpoy because i thought one of them might win it victor first team david and tim and david's injured for two to four weeks david is uh and tim are second team victor defensive first team and david and tim defensive second team they could technically all be on the first team at some point and well first round we are going to win four one is david back yet should be two to four weeks already there you go he's probably in the rotation now second round against the suns cook them and third round against the thunder up to one tied two two they're probably going to be one of the only competitive teams oh there you go david robinson conference mvp were playing the pistons in the finals Cade keegan murray wait wait am i tweet why was it oh, oh jay nivy as well victor 32 points 30 points win tim duncan had almost a triple double in 41 minutes why are you playing that many minutes dog i know it's the finals but like golly we got 75 wings that could take your spot even is sohan still here is he still here i don't even know he's still here he's not he's gone that's all right he probably getting this opportunity somewhere else maybe not rings but an opportunity sure oh my god oh my god 80 point win almost won every quarter by a million and devin vassell led us in scoring i forgot he was still here honestly i don't know how but i did and that is it is that a sweep right there Jaden ivy 31 doesn't matter 4-0 tim duncan finals in. hey i've seen david robinson with an MVP, Tim Duncan get a finals MVP, Dave Robinson get a finals MVP, Victor get an MVP. Like we are, it is they are sharing the sugar. This is Spurs basketball. Drew Holiday retired on that ring. Good for you, buddy. I know this is very random, but I always have respect for Drew Holiday. I remember he took like a lot of a season off once because his wife had cancer. I think she recovered pretty well. Also, Kawhi Leonard made the Hall of Fame. We're gonna retire his jersey. No, he gets no jersey retirements. It's kind of crazy to think of. You think he'll get his retired with the Raptors? I still honestly I hear that argument all the time. I'll hear, oh my God, Spurs via Atlanta 
Atlanta. Number one lottery odds. Is it protected? It isn't. We get the fifth pick in the draft. Not even protected, dog. What are they doing over there? James Turner Jr. Oh my, why did Victor leave? See, this is the thing. I don't want you to leave. It's it, not even supposed to have free will here. Go ahead and turn trade override on. Now, that's what I've been doing recently. Just turn off trade logic, put him back on the team. Don't care. What's crazy is that's the Kings trying to get their get back. Get back. Bro, sticking De'Aaron Fox for nothing. Yeah, thanks, buddy. We didn't sign nobody crazy, though, right? I would just give him to the Kings. Yeah, no, team's looking pretty, pretty team. 490 overalls. Victor, you got a Hall of Fame badge yet? You got a volume shooter. Yeah, all right. You got an MVP, too. Surprise, Giannis is still the captain of the All-Star game. Dang, only Dave Robinson, the MVP race this year. And Victor is currently has a broken leg. He has not played since January. It's like a month ahead of that right now. He broke his leg in half. Shea wins MVP on the Warriors. I don't even know how this happened. I mean, he is 10 years in, so he had free will to sign anywhere. Jamal McKnight, Rookie of the Year. David Robinson, DPOI. First DPOI for the team, pretty sure. David Robinson, All-NBA first team. Tim Duncan, second team. And Victor still makes the third team. Is he healthy? Well, I mean, yeah, he's healthy. He doesn't have a red thing on him. Second seed against Utah. Smoke them first round. Smoke the Thunder second round. Houston. And that is 3-2, 4-2. We are in the finals yet again against the Pistons. Everybody is looking pretty healthy. John Bowl, hello. Camp Thomas, hello. Victor against Camp Thomas might be a crime punishable by law. We lost the second game somehow by 20 points and lost the third game. Okay, some cast. Sorry, I got too comfortable. Did I say we won the game yet? Am I tweaking? Did I not say anything? Hey, shoot. We lost this one, though. We're down 3-2. Tim Duncan, 18 and 12. Jay Nivey, 36. K, 26. Johnson, 20. You know what's crazy, too, is like, I just said, oh, did I say we... Uh, when it comes to these videos, I don't remember nothing. Nothing I've ever done on this channel, honestly. Almost any, almost nothing at all. You might remember more than me. But in real life, I remember a lot. Like, I have, like, a really sharp memory. It's kind of weird. Also, we forced a game seven. We're going to a close, close game. 249. Game seven. Down by two. 249 to go. Did I say 247? 249? 249. Okay, okay. Yeah, I said game seven. 249 to go. They, I'm not controlling nothing, right? Okay, good. Just making sure. Pass into Murray. Keegan Murray over to Cade. Cade guarded by... Who is that guarding him? I don't... I can't tell right now. Oh, so, uh, that's Kenyon Martin Jr. And Victor's got it just casually dribbling the ball up. Fox down to Robinson. Robinson in the post. David Robinson. He's trying to pass it to Fox, maybe. I don't know. He's still in the post. Guarded by John Bull. Oddly, a mismatch for them, like in favor of them. And wow, Tim Duncan is guarded by Cade. Oh my God. This is about to be insane. Oh, I think it was just that possession. Either way, though. 100, 100, 219 to go. Game seven, winner go home in Detroit. Pass in to Ivy. Ivy waiting patiently as nothing happens. The screen by John Bull. I Ivy's going to pass out. Open Johnson for three. And that is off. Rebound by John Bull. He'll fade away and make the shot. That's a little soft touch. Why are we taking so many timeouts? Holy hell. Oh my. Fox teetering on the backcourt. Robinson in the post against Bull. Martin Jr. Back out to Fox. Fox to the basket. Back out again to Azamota. And they throw away the ball nearly. Robinson's got it. Back to Duncan. Duncan in the post. He's got the mismatch. He's going to pull up the shot. It's off. And oh my God. David Robinson. Ivy goes right. Also, where is Victor? Don't know. Ivy goes back left. Pulls up. Moving shot. It is off. Rebound by Robinson. Fox goes right. Pass down to Robinson again. David Robinson going to post hook over the defense. That is good. 110 to go. The one-time scoring leader, right? Because he dropped 71 in the last game of the season. It went over Shaq, I'm pretty sure. Ivy goes to the right wing corner, whatever you want to call that. Not really wing, not really either. The right block, maybe they call it. Oh, John Bull from deep. And he's going to green that with the Bull Bull jumper. I guess they just duplicated Bull Bull. Is it Bull Bull's brother? I have no clue. I'm pretty sure someone told me it wasn't. Maybe that's not true. Fox got it. De'Aaron Fox, the screen by Robinson. Pass down to Robinson. Robinson will take a... Oh, my God. David Robinson is deep deep in his bag. Ivy back up the other way. The crossover to the basket stops back out towards nowhere. He stops right there again and he pulls and he makes it. Solid shot. Not terrible. 31 to go. Fox. De'Aaron Fox is screened by Azamota. He'll pass it down to Robinson. Robinson in the post guarded by Bowl again. He will pump fake and go up with it anyways. He is bullying that man. The former MVP. Maybe finals MVP. Takes a two point lead with 20 seconds to go in the last game of the finals. Jaden Ivy down by two. Last chance. IV the screen on the right side. He will go right, pull up, moving midi, and it is off. Rebound by Robinson, and that is it. Is that our third championship already? The San Antonio Spurs. I don't know why it's, it was lingering on that screen for a while. There it is. Victor and Tim Duncan celebrating. Did they three-peat? Like, I really do not remember. I think they three-peated. Wait, who the hell is this guy? This ain't Popovich. We got a second Greg Popovich. All right, well, whatever. Why is Victor wearing 45? I could have sworn. Oh, I forgot to give him number one. Dang, David robinson finals mvp 27 and 12 by duncan 24 and 13 by robinson 12 and 15 by victor he was playing pretty bad in terms of shooting had four blocks though that's 
snap. I saw they got a uh, John Bowl. Speaking of Bowl Bowl, I just saw him on the bench. Wait, hold on. David Robinson, your finals maybe can hold till later. Look at that. They got a uh, Bowl Bowl and John Bowl. Hey, screwed. Victor's new number is 45. They all got double digit numbers, anyways. And yeah, that is a three peat for your San Antonio Spurs. Only four games lost combined, and three of them were just now. The son of Larry Nance Sr. retired. Lakers get the first overall pick. Victor goes up to a 96 overall. The other two may be capped out. I don't know. First, they all had a max potential of like 99. Also, I don't know what the hell happened to Justin Edwards. Victor wins MVP. Jalen Mitchell, rookie of the year. David Robinson, DPOY, and Cecil Sanders. I'm pretty, you know what? He looked like a bit of a lunatic. He could fit the pop bitch role. I'm presuming this is the dude. It looks exactly like him from, you know, when we won the championship. Victor makes the first team and uh, David on the third team. No Tim Duncan. First seed, once again, up by nine wins over the Jazz. Everybody is healthy. Click this Click this button. First first game, smoked him. Second game, smoked him. Ooh, game seven. Ah, screw it. Click it. Okay, we lost. We lost to Shea by three points. The three-peat soon to be, well, not anymore. Four-peat is over, and Shea is a champion. Shea is one of the best players ever in this game. My God, because I, I could truly see it now that he's on the Warriors and not the Thunder because they draft every player in existence. Max Struess retired. I just saw that he might get like a $45 million deal from the Pacers or something. Big expansion. Add one new team to leave. Is this the video where I allow this? Hey, approve it. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Who are they trying to add? Why is there five over here? Oh, the, the Nashville Stars? Go ahead, man. Do your job. Is it like automatically give them a top pick just because of that or not? No, maybe next year. Oh, no, the Stars. Fifth pick. Maybe it's automatic. I don't know. I don't know if Nashville was the, you know, market I thought they would go to, but all right. How are they doing the expansion? Okay. Any like funny? Oh, well, Killian Hayes getting left back in the, in the draft. Let me see the expansion draft, man. Simulate the draft. Pa oh, Patrick Baldwin. Zach Collins. Okay. Derek, Derek Whitehead. Ira Lewis. Who is that? Um... Derek Queen, Jake White. Who the hell are the, the last few? After Kyra Lewis, it got confusing. But and they got a little, they got a decent team. Let me see who they draft to. Stars get Huggins. All right. Nice center to lead you nowhere in this society. Time to re-sign all these bastards for a few more years. I don't want to see you even touch free agency. Too successful for that. Hey, De'Aaron Fox, though. Yeah, you can leave this year whenever you want to leave. Oh, that's up to you. You're not part of the package, package deal. Cam Boozer wins MVP. Eric Dampierre, rookie of the year. Most valuable Boozer. Caden Boozer six man of the year david robinson dpoi trenton flowers of the stars wins most improved player 87 overall whoa how did they get him they have money or something yeah i think they did i think they signed him with their money probably trying to find contracts i cannot find contracts okay tim and david make the third team victor did not make a team at all this year oh it's because victor had a spinal injury out for the season himself victor has not played since march i mean i don't know if that really was a detriment to him not making an all nba team it wasn't very long but all in all he missed almost 20 games this season which once again isn't a crazy amount but he is out for the season he's done and also mikhail bridges is here they trade fox for mikhail they did and mikhail is on a two-year deal whereas fox was on a one-year deal let me go to the nets real quick there he is De'Aaron fox i don't know why they i don't know how that fits the team but caleb foster is a starting point guard now all right very odd right now run of a string of events Will we still make it back to the conference finals we do playing against the thunder and back to the finals yet again tim duncan david robinson and mikhail Bridges and Jason Azamoda with no Victor playing. Duncan, uh, David Robinson averaging 24 and Tim averaging 23, both averaging six assists and 12 rebounds. Oh my, up 2-0, up 3-0, up 4-0. Easy sweep without Victor. Team is overpowered. Marquise Chris is out of here. Victor is back and healthy and team is looking exactly the same. Cam Boozer MVP. Aiden Boozer, sixth man of the year. Elijah Arenas, most improved. Quinn Snyder, coach of the year. The Spurs are the first seed, 16-22, but for some reason they didn't give us coach of the year oh my lost in the first round to the blazers everybody healthy mikhail bridges healthy tim duncan robinson taylin horn and tucker i guess victor and azamoda and we lost to sundrup we lost to sundrup first round loss isaiah evans finals mvp in a 4-0 sweep the pistons keep getting smoked oh my god julius randall the bulls retired i think tim duncan getting worse at 27 what you doing dog cam boozer mvp mikey williams six man david robinson gets his dpo uh, another dpoi makes the third team and so does Victor. Oh my God. Another first round, first seed loss. Matez Buzelli's finals MVP. Let me see. 
Let me see. Matter of fact, can I see who sold in losses? Oh, I guess not. Oh, this guy retired. Trey Lyles. Kale Bridge is down to an 83 overall. James Turner Jr. is an 83. Davion Mitchell just, oh, he got traded here. Looking like 97, 96, and 94 are going to be the official ratings for these three. Probably for the whole time. Inevitably. Stage of life. 43, 44, and 8. David Robinson, all-star starter. David Robinson in the MVP race. I think he was number one in DPOY as well. The other team might have dropped off a little bit by this point with they are still incredible 44 and 8 once again cam boozer mvp again david robinson dpoy he's a regular season player though cam boozer we're not worried about him oh my back in the finals again winning game seven over the king shout out to them for bouncing back this well maybe trading fox is a good idea who knows jackson hayes at the two honestly better than most twos to guard tim duncan and brandon miller at the three against victor donovan mitchell 81 overall at the two and lonzo ball still an 88 at the one i did not expect that down two one down three one. Oh my god the score the last game was 97 98 jesus they are cooking us oh coming back though okay what a comeback 42 to 26 fourth quarter victor at 35 11 and 7 to force a game six if you come back from a 3-1 off of that win that'd be insane uh probably not they are selling in this fourth and the series is probably over the bulls have won the nba championship i think this is the spurs first finals loss if i'm not mistaken four to two lonzo ball finals mvp with the bulls really lost to lonzo ball dog donovan mitchell retires on a ring jordan Poole retired walker kessler they had money oh they traded for walker i didn't even realize he's on the team victor mvp andre wagner with the accent mark andre i don't know how else i'd say it trenton flowers six man of the year he's not even on that stars team anymore whatever the hell they were nashville stars right tyreek evans jr most improved player and cecil sanders coach of the year spurs uh victor first team obviously oh nashville stars zachary ritzabach or whatever the hell this is called david robinson third team first First seed again. We sell in the first round or sell in the finals. Playing the Bucks in the finals. Basala Bagayoka, William Piegler. Dang, how we get Elliot Cad, whatever the hell. Cado. I like it. I don't know how to say that's a pretty easy name to say. This should be an easy win though. Basala's nice, but he's kind of alone. Two, three, three, three. Up by four with a few seconds ago, and that is it. Champions yet again, I believe, for the fourth time. Victor 27, 11, and 7. Victor finals MVP. Have they all gotten a finals MVP? Timmy might have. Yeah, I think Timmy got one. They now have five total championships, kind of like the real life Spurs. Well, I mean, they, I guess they just added five on top of the other five in this universe. Oh, Mikael Bridges out of here. He's home sweet home. He's retiring. Cam Whitmore retired. Hey, why don't we get Walt Kessler just for him to get old? Basala wins MVP. Victor All NBA third team. David All NBA third team. First seed again. 62 wins. First round sweep. Second round near sweep. Third round sweep. Wait, why did I say first round sweep? David, Western MVP. We didn't even sweep the first round. And we're playing the Bucks again. Basala at center Paolo at the four up 2-0 2-1 3-1 one Spurs champions Victor finals MVP that is ring number six for him and the whole team Has anybody else been here the whole time no no I'm pretty sure everybody else this game and went Lonzo Ball retired Lonzo Ball gets his number two retired with the Bulls David Robinson goes down by an overall JD Palmer King Bacot most viable player David Robinson another DPOI Mike Brown coach of the year and first round wins second round lost in seven seventh game loss seven point loss to um the trailblazers victor at 34 and 20 and actually tim duncan was injured i do not see him there tim duncan lower left leg stress fracture he did it in the lakers series four games into it we still won that one and lost the next round in his place ernest tucker started and i just saw scoot henderson yep finals mvp um they gave him a different face cam but hey it's still scoot i guess quentin grimes retired dang timmy still hurt cam boozer mvp whole team healthy this this year at least going into the playoffs playing against the blazers first two rounds smoked and the second third round we lose to shea yet again shea back to the finals and the pistons finally win something up oh, shea's out of here Heyman thompson retired tim duncan now to a 91 at 33 years old ian jackson most viable i see her cunningham dpoy and out of bing bada boom first round second round out of here third round we're into the finals victor versus marcus johnson victor tim duncan david robinson still going strong first game's a win second game's a win no ray allen this time buddy three one 
2-3-2 and 4-2 Victor finals MVP that is now the seventh championship for Victor Tim Duncan and David Robinson in 15 years stars legend legend Jordan Hawkins retired David down to a 92 and Tim down to an 89 we're playing the stars in the first game what a treat Marcus Johnson MVP Koa Pete DPOI Aiden Anderson coach of the year Victor's still making first teams first the second seed I don't think they've been anything but the first or second seed in like 20 years and they're going back to the finals Spurs 97 over overall victor leading him okay somehow he's a 96 all of a sudden mitchell phillips starting at point guard against mvp marcus johnson delon duren it's actually a pretty even matchup and spurs up three two up four two is that the eighth ring jerace walker retired also yes i keep re-signing them and just editing their contracts and giving them the most money possible and you might be like oh well they're old now do they deserve that yes because they won eight rings i don't care victor wins another mvp 25 10 5 1 and 2 51 from the field 98 from the line and 41 from three Spurs go four two first round up oh, all the way back to the finals marcus johnson again in the finals and that is a 4-1 championship yet again victor one of a kind 31 14 and six to win his ninth championship and they also got a couple more years in them claude retired Timmy's down to 85 and david's down to 87 Trey johnson wins mvp david robinson jr all right um that's the rookie of the year david robinson jr seven foot four he got some um he got some victor attributes got a 77 shot tendency the rookie of the year in 2040 is that technically possible because david is pretty old i guess it is it kind of is yeah victor makes the first team the other two didn't make nothing first seed and they beat the first round barely second round as well and barely the third round too going for ring number 10 looking like the 60 celtics up 3-1 three, 3-2 three, 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 and lost in game seven to basala by 30 points tim duncan eight points and eight rebounds and that is it at the age of 37 david robinson has retired from the nba it's a given actually i could just go here he's going to make the hall of fame he averaged 19 points per game 10 rebounds five assists one steal two blocks one mvp 14 all-star appearances six dpois nine championships two finals mvps two first team all nba four second team all nba six third team all nba 11 defensive first team three defensive second team one rookie of the year one all rookie first team david had careers highs of just 40 points 18 18 field goals made never even attempted a three-pointer 16 free throws 24 rebounds which by the way yeah he's actually he was actually one of the better mid-range shooters so it's kind of funny to see him not attempt a three at all he's like hey i know my bag because whenever you get a david robinson in my team he will have a three-point shot without a doubt he's one of the first stretch bigs you will ever get in my team every year 14 assists five steals and six blocks 14 assists is kind of crazy and put up 23 points in his last game game seven finals loss and still had interceptor on hall of fame and clutch shooter and volume shooter and along with that obviously we're going to conclude the careers of the other two victor averaged 23 points 10 rebounds four assists one steal two blocks 53 percent from the field 43 percent from three 94 from the line 17 triple doubles 700 double doubles won four mvps nine championships 12 all-star appearances seven first team all nba two second team all nba four third team all nba he actually has more hall of fame badges now than he did when he was like 24 50 points was his career high 18 field goals 30 field goals attempted 11 threes made 16 free throws made and attempted 20 one rebounds 12 offensive 16 defensive 12 assists six steals and seven blocks and for timothy duncan who i'm actually surprised didn't retire first because he was the lowest overall of them all he averaged 18 points 10 rebounds five assists 52 from the field 71 from the line 23 triple doubles and 682 double doubles nine championships five all-star appearances two second team all nba three third team six second team all defense one first team all rookie definitely had worse individual accolades without a doubt compared to his normal career but uh, i don't think you'd really care if you won nine championships career high of just 39 points 17 field goals made never a shot of three either kind of crazy uh, 15 free throws made 21 rebounds 16 assists seven blocks five steals and obviously they would both make the hall of fame i'm pretty sure undoubtedly i mean yeah i don't know how they wouldn't first off let's check the spurs records uh they oh that's true actually they didn't really have the craziest individual records victor did set the record for threes and uh david robinson these are all old david robinson so yeah they didn't really set any new records although victor did set a point in the playoffs record with 53 as well as three pointers made with eight free throws made with 19 the Aaron fox had 19 assists and david robinson had 10 steals in a game which was four more than Kawhi leonard's career high in the playoffs in 2033 i did not expect to see that record and lastly for the nba records victor is eighth all-time in scoring what the hell my god
what is going on they have like 80 david robinsons holy hell someone count up how many david i'm seeing look look i'm about to do a quick scroll okay from 100 all the way up to i saw a few people there goes Jokic. why is there so many david never in all of my years have simu of simulating have i have i ever ever seen this what the hell happened honestly i could probably just, and oh my god he took over everything well except for threes he didn't shoot any of these victor was 28th and threes made is he on free throws he probably is and he's gonna take the entire list over again there he is david robinson what the hell rebounds david robinson oh i don't even know where tim duncan's at or victor no victor might have been uh actually yeah I, I have no clue where they are we will never know david robinson is the goat he is now the goat he holds multiple records in every single record blocks 20th probably through 100th and minutes oh there he is david robinson taking up the whole list again oh even turnovers yep i have no clue what the hell just happened with that being said big three that we have seen displayed today probably well i mean and obviously the three the big the greatest big three of three big players with victor at the three david at the five and timmy at the four shout out to them i i fought they far from underperformed they won nine championships for the love of god i've seen a lot worse i used to have like really high expectations from 2k20 i've seen some crazy sims but ever since then you know i've seen i've seen much much worse uh failures it's been real it's been fun but it's been real fun shout out to robin lopez if you don't subscribe to the channel um you will wake up tomorrow step out of your bed and your achilles is both of them will snap you actually spawn a third one in your knee and that one will snap too this is isn't a threat though for legal purposes and um see ya Cut.